It's another Purple Alphabet holiday gift guide filled with ideas and inspirations of things that you might want to give your kids this holiday season. In today's video, I have some great educational gifts, plus a giveaway that is sponsored by Junior Learning. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. Are we loving these holiday gift guides or what? I know I am and I hope you are too. And the whole month of November, every Purple Alphabet video will have a giveaway. So after you watch this video, make sure to catch up on the others. Everything I'm gonna show you in today's video will be linked down below, plus my Amazon holiday gift guide too. So go check that out. Let's get on to some fabulous things from Junior Learning. First off, a Purple Alphabet favorite is definitely sequencing snake. Let's start off with sequencing snakes from Junior Learning. This is for ages three and up. And this skill is so important, you guys. Now, I like these because they're nice size cards. Look how big these are. And the pictures are really vibrant and fun to look at. But there's 24 different cards in here and there's actually fiction and non-fiction sequencing. So things that are kind of made up and things that are more lifelike. What I really do like about this set is that one, they're color coded. So around the edge, there's this little border so you know which puzzles go with which and you can easily find them as a parent when you wanna work on a skill. But then also they have a different numbers per sequence. Now, what I mean by having different numbers of events in each one. So here's three different cards and this is one sequence and it goes all the way up to five cards in the sequence. So you can work your way up to more complicated sequencing. So when you're working with these with your kids, you definitely take out one at a time, especially with the younger ones who this is new to, and you talk about each card. So I wanna place these on here. And this is like a real life situation, right? We talk about what's happening in the card with your child. What is he doing here? What kind of observations can we make? How do you know that that's what's happening? We're looking for all the contextual clues. Then you start talking about the order of events. So he did this first, he did this, next he did this last this is really helping with storytelling it's helping with comprehension oral language and also like motor planning you know when you're doing things as a child you have to learn you do this first before you do that you have to put on your socks before you put on your shoes and once you kind of master that and your child's comprehending the idea of these you can mix them up and you can have your child put them in order here is a four card sequence now what's great too is if you turn them around these are self-checking this is one of the reasons why I really do like these so you can see here that our snake has not been completed so this probably is not the right sequence so then we can turn them over and try again to get them in the correct sequence on our own this is great for a center activity this is great for like a busy box activity so this one's called sequencing snakes it's for ages three and up and we're doing both fiction and non-fiction sequences this one is a really good skill to work on for the preposition puzzles Preposition puzzles. This one has 12 puzzles, which means there's 48 pieces in here. Lots of options, you guys. And this is working on prepositional phrases. This is so important, especially when you're learning language about all these different words that you have for prepositions. So the difference between into and out of, inside, outside, poured, away. Now what we have here are puzzles and they're not just the bottom words. So a lot of times I see these puzzles and they just have the top put together and then just these bottoms that you have to fit in here. Instead, they have it made so that these come apart too. So you're doing a little bit more sleuthing and showing your understanding of what these words mean. So you can do this just like this and provide these to talk about which ones go where, or you can do it with all four pieces. So I like the versatility there. Or you can maybe even make it more difficult and challenging by adding another word from a third puzzle. See what I'm doing here? So I'm varying the level depending on the skill set of your child. So you can make it easier or harder depending on how much they know or don't know. And then this again is another great busy bag activity. It's instant. It's done for you. It's all put together. You don't have to think about it. One thing I also want to note is on these cards is combining that prepositional phrase with a noun to show position. So if you look at the pictures, it's actually showing you what over means using a noun here. A great resource for home or even in a classroom. This one is called Anatomy Flips. Mm -hmm. 
Anatomy Flips. Now I picked this one to go in here because I really have felt that I haven't done anything regarding anatomy or the human body on my channel. A couple of things here and there, but so I thought it was important to include something for variety. This is recommended for ages six and up and it is a flip book. So inside here, we have like one side flips out this way and the other side flips out this way. And as you work through this, it works through each layer of the body and there's labels too. So it talks about the whole label. Then you can flip it and see different systems. So let's go this page by page here. We have the muscular system. We have the digestive system. We have the circulatory, respiratory, the nervous system, the skeletal system. And then on each side, I don't know if you notice as I flip through this, are further explanations. So we have the great chart here with the names and the labels pointing to each, but then there's extra bonus information on each one of these flaps. And the reason why I like this is because look, you can flip over one and you can do a comparison to each system to see where things are. So for example, let's um, do this one here, the respiratory system, and I have it matched up to the skeletal system. So there I can see that we have the lung here. And so the lung will be right here where the skeleton would cover it up. Or you can flip through and see how it relates to the circulatory system, right? You can do a side-by-side -side comparison and knowing that these are all layers to our body and how they all work together. There we go. Here's the muscular system where I can turn it to have the digestive system. It's just really cool how you can see it side by side. If you're working on a specific system of the body, then this is a great resource for that. If you have a very curious child who wants to know how things can work, how they work, this is also a really great visual to work on. So you are learning about the major parts of the body and how they work together. You can see how your food processes through your gut or how your heart pumps blood through your veins, all with the double-sided flips. I have a whole stack of these to show you and they are for math, all the way from addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, they are math dominoes. some things to show you for ages five and up. These are all math related dominoes, addition and subtraction for five and up. And then I have the multiplication, well that's division, here's the multiplication, multiplication and division for ages seven and up. And the reason for the ages is just because of skill level. Usually we don't see multiplication and division done until third grade, which is about age seven. And usually we don't see addition and subtraction to about age five, which is about kindergarten. If your child is is more advanced or not, you can adapt it for whatever skill level your child's at. So what are these? Each one is a set of 28 dominoes. And what better way to learn about math than playing a game of dominoes? They come in these great little tins. So you have this great storage container to put them in. And then we have our set of dominoes. Fabulous quality, by the way. And I love that they have the numeric version on one side and then they show it visually on the other side. And there's even math problems written on here too. So we have 10 frames on here. They're showing it here in some dice, showing it here in picture form. So you have quite the variety of ways that these math numbers are shown for addition problems. It plays just like you would dominoes where you place all the dominoes face down, right? And each player takes seven. And then one person starts by sharing a domino um, on the game board like this. And then each player takes a turn matching it to form a chain. And then the player to play all of their dominoes wins. So I could place this here because um, six plus five is 11. So I can put an 11 there. Three plus one is four. Here's a four over here. And you make a whole chain until they're all gone. What this is doing is it's reinforcing math through play, which is what I love because of what I do on the channel, right? I mean, <laughs> What better way to learn? Here's the multiplication ones. So you're doing the same thing, but with multiplication, you know, so the next person would have put either a one or something that's two by or two times seven. And so they'd have to find the right one there. And there's little clues on here and hints, but it's still challenging enough. It's a great review or a recap. Let's say that you have a whole summer gone by and you haven't practiced your multiplication or your division or your subtraction. And you just are a little bit, uh, I don't know, you need a little bit of review to work on it. You can pull 
pull these out and have a really good, really good game. Great travel size game too. Also good stocking stuffer size. Math dominoes, division, multiplication, subtraction, and addition. A fabulous way to work on math all while playing dominoes. And now for the giveaway details. First of all, make sure you're subscribed to the Purple Alphabet YouTube channel. I'd love to have you here. Then leave me a comment down below telling me what was your favorite item in this video. I'd like to hear your feedback and what you liked most. Then head over to the giveaway link to officially enter to win. You must have a US or Canada postal address and at least 18 years of age or older. If you want to score some bonus entries, I highly recommend you look for those clues. You guys click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.